Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jakhtiani. And today it's NGD. No, it's not. It's NBD. It's a new bass, baby. It's a big bass. I'm excited to open it up. It's my first ever bass guitar. I've never owned a bass guitar before. So, looking forward to this one. All right. Um, I bought the second hand. It's been sent in by Alberto. The good guys at Alberto have packed this up for me. If you are sending guitars from Bombay anywhere in India, just give the guitar to them, trust them, and they will ship it like this. I've already done an unboxing video, uh, you know, for a guitar that I got repaired by Sunil Shande, and I gave it to them, and they shipped it to me, and I was so impressed, and they're extremely cost-effective. I would even recommend John's music. They're also really, really good. Uh, Alberto for me, however, was uh, closer to where I was staying and also uh, I think they're a little bit more cost effective. So, you know, both are great. Not got any complaints about either of those two. I think they provide a very, very good service in packaging stuff and sending them across, you know, the country. So, amps, guitars, you know who to send them through. Don't just pack it yourself and send it to delivery. Otherwise, it's going to land up with a lot of bumps and bruises. Okay, remember that. All right, let's get on to the unboxing. Before that, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. All right, enough. Let's just open this up. This thing's really packed up well. Really, really packed up well. Look at that, lots of padding. Oh man, that's a workout. So, very, very good packaging. Very, very good packaging by Alberto. Excellent stuff. I'm just going to keep the base on top of the bubble wrap and we'll reuse it later. I never dispose any of the stuff because it comes in handy later on when we're shipping stuff out. Oh, looksy, looksy. Send me a base strap. Nice. Is there anything inside here? This is a nice Alberto's uh, bag. The Alberto. I like it. So no Alain wrench. That's okay. Alright. This is the base. People, this is the base. Let me get to unwrapping it. So, the seller has graciously uh, packaged the inside really well, okay. Uh, let me check any cracks or anything like that, a bit. My lord, look at that, that's a nice space. This is... The Sire P7 Bass. It's got a superb active preamp circuit. Over there, you can play active or passive. Yeah, there's a slight ding here. This is from before. He told me about this. It's okay. It's been loved. It's been played. There's one screw missing from the pig guard. That's not a big deal. Got that out. An on off switch for switching between your active and passive uh, circuitry. Dual knobs on this, dual knobs on that. Very nice, very nice. Now here's the fun bit. I don't play bass. <laughs> but I'm gonna learn, baby, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna slap. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm gonna learn how to play bass. We're going to start reviewing some basses on this channel as well. Um, Maybe not Ashwin, maybe somebody else. If you are a bassist and you're interested in being featured on this show, then, well, leave your name and your contact details in the, you know, comment section below or just email us. We have our email ID in the description below. Uh, get in touch if you're interested to be a part of Guitar Gear Gyan. 
If you can speak and you know a lot about woods and you know components, that's even better. You know, we're happy to have you speak. But yeah, more than anything else, we need people to come and play. Uh, I need to learn how to play bass, of course. Uh, it's a must for me. But this uh, particular owner was uh, a really good bassist in Bombay and he uh, wanted to sell this. I got it at a very good deal. From what I can see is there's a slight uh, discoloration on the neck over here. But other than that, I don't really see. He was saying that there was, yeah, there's a little bit of... He told me that the original case that came with it, uh, the gig bag, had a, like a red kind of a velvet uh, padding and that sort of, uh, you know, came onto uh, the guitar, it discolored the guitar slightly. It's hardly noticeable and I frankly speaking don't care. But from the front, looks amazing. It's really, really good. I have no idea how to play bass. But I'm gonna learn, okay? Because I need to use bass on a lot of my albums. So this is something that's been uh, uh, long pending. And I've heard only good stuff about this particular bass, this particular model, the P7. So looking forward to having a, a review of this baby done. Uh, he did tell me these are new strings on it and they look pretty good. So yeah, all in all, I'm a happy camper.